Hi, today I'm going to do a super quick video on how to refresh your used beeswax wraps. Hello and welcome to Gwyn and Griffith's YouTube channel. Here we talk everything from beekeeping, farming, countryside living and we do reviews as well. But today I'm going to show you how to refresh one of your beeswax food wraps. If you've been using your beeswax wrap for a month or two, they may now uh, benefit from uh, having a little refresh to redistribute the wax on the beeswax wrap and to keep them going for another month or two. Because remember that there is a limited life on these wraps and uh, once they finish, you can throw them in your compost bin and then buy another one. But today, I'm just going to show you now how to refresh the wraps that we've been using for a month or two. Uh, they're a little creased and would benefit from having that wax redistributed. So, really simple and really quick. So, all you need is an ironing board, an iron, an old tea cloth, tea towel, and some grease proof paper. Very important to note that you can refresh your beeswax wraps in the oven however only if it's an electric oven never ever put these wraps in a gas oven for obvious reasons but i would recommend using an iron it's quick and easy and should be straightforward enough so first things first uh, put down an old tea towel on your ironing board and um, get some grease proof paper sheets as it happens i've got these pre-cut sheets um, spare so I'm going to use these but if you have a roll just um, open it up and, and cut um, a piece off. Now the sheets are not quite big enough uh, compared to the size of the wrap so I'm going to use two because we want the grease proof paper to be bigger than the actual wax wrap and I want to make sure as well that we've got a good inch all the way around so when we do iron, if there's any seepage of wax, then at least the greaseproof paper will catch that rather than it soaking through onto your tea towel. But the tea towel is there just in case. So greaseproof paper, beeswax wrap, and then we're going to put the greaseproof paper on top to cover the wax wrap, just like so. Again, making sure that we've got enough border around the edge. Make sure the iron is on the higher setting with the steam off and let's just iron it. So I'm going to start in the corner here and immediately I can see that the wax underneath or in the wrap is melting. Never stay in one place uh, too long because we don't want to burn the, the wax or the actual uh, cotton wrap. So just keep moving till it's all nice and melted over here now. If your wraps are like mine with lots of creases then the iron might not, might not glide quite as smooth as you would expect but just, just gently pushing it over just like so. Make sure that it's all nice and melted. You might have to go back because one thing with the wax they do um, it does sort of start uh, setting quite fast so once I'm happy now that I've covered it all and that it's all melted we're gonna have to act quick now before it sort of um, cools down so I think that should be fine so straight away then I'm gonna peel that top off peel the other piece off if you're using sheep and you only have when you see that started to a stick already. Now, pick that up in the corner. It's a bit sticky. And then I'm gonna, oh, where's the end piece? There we are. I'm just gonna waft this now for a few seconds. Until it's dry. There we are. And we've got a nice and refreshed beeswax wrap, which is good to go for another month or so. And there we have it, a nice refreshed beeswax wrap. All the wax has been redistributed and it's nice and ironed. And this should uh, be okay now for another month or so. 
So that's it for today. It's just a really quick video how to refresh your beeswax wrap. If you like this video, then please hit that subscribe button. We try to upload new videos every week. And in the meantime, should you want to buy some more beeswax wraps, we've got plenty available on our website. And um, yeah, we'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Dialch. <laughs>